Hi, Dave here, and today we're going to check out the work of Hugo Richard. He's a lead concept artist at Red Barrels. Um, I'm assuming that's the studio, and he's based in Montreal, Canada, right? He does have a YouTube channel. He has like three videos on there as of this recording. Um, so I do recommend you check that out. I will be linking all of the links in the description below. He also does have an Instagram, so no worries. He does have a very interesting style. Very, very similar to uh, Faraz Shanyar. And they often kind of... They like to leave in the line work. And they do a bit of rendering. It's not just like a bunch of flats. They do some rendering kind of underneath the, uh, the line work. And it does have a very... Um, interesting look it's more clear it's it feels like it's meant for more design types of work right because it, it just communicates more clarity than say a painting right more often than not um it's mostly focused on character designs um and they mostly have weapons of some kind so not a lot of fantasy artwork in his portfolio but i do like the way he uh kind of exaggerates the form sometimes, but it's not too exaggerated. They're a bit realistic. They, they lean more towards that realistic side. Um, again, kind of like Faraz, um, Shanyar. Um, so here we have some kind of um, sketches of some kind of parasite thingy. And uh, they look rather interesting, right? It's kind of like a zombie concept with... Can't remember the film that this kind of reminds me of, but um, he's pretty good at the human anatomy part, right? His drawing skills are on point, um, which is something that I think we all kind of want to, do, you know, do better at. Just because you could do so much with the human anatomy, right? Because you can always exaggerate forms. You can even apply that for creature designs, right? Um, and look at the way he renders. It's just a bunch of flats and then a bit of value kind of changes, right? It's not like rendered or anything. I mean, there's a bit of rendering, but it's not like, um, it's not a painting. It's like a simple coloring kind of method, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Now for this, you can still see a bit of line work. It's in grayscale. Um, and he does know how to, do, to uh, do expressions, right? So that's pretty cool. Because sometimes we do have, or we tend to do this kind of, this expressionless kind of face, just because we've gotten so used to painting or drawing one face that we kind of just got lazy and um, decided to uh, not improve, right? It's kind of a common thing for us artists. And when I say us, I don't mean I don't mean me just because I don't really draw faces. So I can't really relate anyway, just because I already kind of suck in this category. But um, yeah, <laughs> but one day I look at I mean look at this face, right? It has expression in it and it kind of fits the character design, right? Um, reminds me also of the work of Miguel Iglesias. Now for Miguel Iglesias, he actually starts or he does his work via painting. He doesn't do any kind of line work like uh, Hugo Richard here. Um, but you can still see the line work. A bit of background um, shading just to kind of help the character pop out. But uh, yeah, decent drawing skills with a bit of painting. Um, some, well, not basic painting, but kind of standard uh, rendering, right? Like, like the forms are understood with this sort of thing. You don't need you don't need a lot of texture, right? It, it's more secondary than um, primary. It's you don't always need texture, right? When doing stuff like this. So here he does have the line work. I think he does like a rough sketch. I mean, based on his videos on YouTube, he does a very kind of rough layout and then he'll start doing the uh, the more refined kind of line work here, right? So a bit of creature design here, just a bit. Reminds me of the mutt in Ben 10, right? The uh, the one with no eyes. One of my favorite um, aliens in the Benton series. Series, excuse me. Um, again, it's kind of flat, but there's a bit of rendering involved in it, right? Just to kind of help things uh, feel a bit more formy and less kind of flat, like this one. Um. <clears throat> oh, now this one is more of a painting. Uh, you can actually hardly see the uh, the line work, and I think Faraz Shanyar also has a couple of these sorts of paintings where it's. Where it's a painting, it's not, you know, you can't actually see the, uh, the line work. There's also another Iranian artist, um, shit, I can't remember his name, Habri... Tabrizi. It starts, his first name starts with an H, last name T, I think. Fuck. Eventually, I think I'll be reviewing his work as well. Um, but yeah. Again, still focused on character design, right? 
something happened to his eye. Now, thankfully, I don't. I, I still think it works. His eye, but uh, it's obviously damaged. Um, recently, right? You can still see the the blood smears and shit. Um, right. I love the way he did the fur here. Right. He was able to suggest like the strands of it, so that's pretty cool. Even the hair looks pretty cool. And you'll notice not a lot of texture. He could have done or added texture, but that's not the look that he's going for anyway. And it actually helps save time, right? Now here, it's uh, he started out with a rough, and then he's kind of doing a mix between or a mix of painting and kind of drawing it at the same time. So that's pretty interesting, right? Again, not a lot of texture involved, right? It still looks rather flat. Now here you can actually hardly see the line work just because he hasn't or he, he did not do any kind of legit um, line work in this for this kind of piece, right? Um, now I'm not sure what, how he did this. Maybe he did start with a grayscale kind of rendering and then he kind of used some kind of gradient map perhaps. Hard to say, but uh, again, it does have... A very clean kind of look right it's more presentable it's more about the design um rather than the narrative although he still does add a bit of narrative and story just because of the the pose and the facial expression but he's mostly about the design i think um very interesting i'm not sure what you would call this kind of theme it's not um shit um steampunk is steampunk the word um i think so uh Reminds me of the world of Korra, right? Kind of the the sequel to the last Airbender, right? Um, oh shit, so he did a rough sketch, and then the line work, and then the, the rendering slash coloring phase. Again, it's not it's not a painting, it's just a... Um, uh, the design was done with the lines, and then everything was... Everything else is just like sectioning it via color, and then adding a bit of shading, just to make it more formy, add a bit of weight to it, right? And I think he did review the Huayon Canvas Pro 13 on his channel. And he kind of did a demo, I guess, for this piece. So you can check it out. Again, I will link the YouTube channel in the description below. So no worries. Ooh, reminds me a bit of a... Um, there's this artist named Fred Rambaud. 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 Um, he does have a couple of pieces where he does like the line work and then he'll color like a... Kind of like in this way where it's just a bunch of flats, right? And here he shaded it kind of differently where it's, um, I he used some kind of gradient or a soft brush. So it's mostly flat, but the shading is kind of very, very subtle, like a gradient, right? Now this one feels more like a comic book kind of style, like a graphic novel kind of style, right? He did, he does add a bit of shading or kind of, um, not shading, but, well, I guess shading, um, with the line work, you can see the kind of dashy lines to so kind of indicate some kind of form, right? Um, but he, do he doesn't overdo it, you know? But I do like these sorts of things. They just look very, very interesting. And I think it's a great way to save time, um, right? When it comes to like design or even because right now I'm trying to learn some human anatomy, right? I think it saves time if you just um, draw, right? Draw it instead of paint it. Or at least before you start painting just because you get to see or understand the contours and the um, just the major shapes in general, right? Um, this is more of a beast. Um, he's part mech? I don't think so. Maybe he's just armored or something, right? So the line work here, a bit of shading, grayscale shading, right? But it's mostly about the, uh, the design, the line work, and then some flat colors with a bit of shading. Um, Pretty cool. Now this one does have some storytelling in it, right? The pose, the facial expression, like the... This person is obviously trying to burn something, right? So it did start out with a line work, right? And then he just colored it. And he left the line work in, right? Looks actually, it looks pretty good. Right? Whoa. Devious. Um, I do like this kind of style. I mean, even though it doesn't have like a lot of texture, it just feels um, more direct. It's kind of like a gouache painting. Gouache paintings, like traditional gouache paintings, don't tend to have a, like a lot of... It's hard to see the texture of it. It, it tends to look rather flat, right? Um, 
And the fact that it doesn't need texture kind of helps to say, oh shit, it's so graphic. Um, it just saves time, right? Ooh, sexy. Um, it's kind of hot, actually. Um, so this one is about a cat ninja, right? Ninja cats. She's actually kind of cute. Um, I'm not a furry, but we can make exceptions. <laughs> so he did add a bit of an environment for this one. Um, I think he started out with like the silhouettes for the environment and then he added the line work on top of that. Um, here you can see a bit of the... Yep, there's hardly any changes for the cat here, but uh, maybe a bit more rendering. But that's pretty much it. More definition of the line work, perhaps. Maybe he doubled the layer or something. Um, but again, you can still see the actual lines or the contour lines and then a bit of rendering for the uh, the actual insides of it, right? Although it's hard to see the line work for the face, I think he painted on top of the line work for this part here, right? Ew! Now this one is about a shit. Um... Some random concepts. She's doing her farmer um, lifts, right? Shrugs, working out. Again, I love the expression. It actually feels like she's lifting the weight, right? Nice grayscale kind of rendering. Very, very simple, but you know, it shows off the design, right? She, she's obviously some kind of witch. Um, nice hair. Again, the rendering style is super kind of plain but because of the the drawing beneath it it kind of makes sense you know it actually looks good because if you don't get the proportions right it, it doesn't matter how good the rendering is it's going to look shitty right um but for him he does have like a good sense of proportions he has a good understanding of um human anatomy right so everything works out in the end oh traditional sketch it still looks amazing right He's using touch markers. Um, reminds me a bit of a Victor, like, what's his name? Victor or something? Um, right. Oh, this is actually one of my favorite pieces of uh, Hugo Richard, just because of the the devilish look of it. It's kind of snake-like as well. It reminds me of the one of the serpents in the um, underground realm in the Kong vs. Godzilla film. Right? The snake one that can kind of fly. And I love the, the anatomy here also. I mean, obviously the pose is kind of um, interesting to me just because, yes. Um, so it's kind of like a mech. Again, it's kind of mech-ish. It has like bionic kind of parts here. Um, right? And it, I, I do love the facial expression of this person. Tongue out. Looks evil. Looks hot. Um... This one reminds me of another artist that I believe is South Asian, not South Asian, Southeast Asian, I forgot his name, but he likes to do a lot of mechs and they're kind of in, they use the same natural tones, green browns, um, they have the kind of rusted look, um, but again, look at the brushwork. Now this one, the, the, the line work is kind of hard to see, you can still, you can see a bit of the shadowing there, it's kind of pure brown or pure black, uh, um, but the, uh, Notice how the brushwork is just there's not there's not a lot of texture involved, right? It's very very simple. I'm guessing he just used a simple round brush for the rendering for the most part, but uh, again, if you have decent drawing skills, it will still look in the end. It will still look good in the end, right? So this is the the ink work for this piece right here, right? Now this is more of a rougher sketch of some kind of. Um, Zombie warrior guy, right? This one's more of a top shot of this babe, right? Has a bit of that confused, concerned expression. Again, the rendering. You can still see a bit of that line work, but uh, it's, it's starting to get painted, especially with this armor thing here. Just because it looks more rounded, right? And the face is kind of um it's hard to see the line work as well. It's more of, it's more of like a pencil sketch. It's very very thin in terms of its line work, right? Um but I do like the rendering of it, right? I love the nose. The edge control when it comes to the face is pretty amazing, right? 
you can see the under um, thing of the eye. Like the edge control, it's pretty sharp in some areas, pretty soft in others. So yeah, what else can I say? Joker? Right? Now this one's more flat. Not a lot of rendering, maybe in the folds, but that's pretty much, blah, 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 but that's pretty much it, right? Oh, this this was more of an ancient kind of uh, caveman, right? Oh, he did use Procreate for this one. Started out maybe with a rough sketch, and then he focused on the line work, and then after that, he colored it, right? Looks cool as hell, right? Oh shit, it reminds me of... Okay, in terms of the coloring, not necessarily the line work, but in terms of the way it's colored, reminds me of the work of Greg Tuccini. Right? He's a comic book artist, um, so... Yeah. Although sometimes he does add a bit of texture, but it's not like... It's still rather flat, you know? It's not super textured, um, but it does have that nice kind of rendering look. Where it starts to look... It, it's less flat. It's still rather flat, but it's not like super flat, you know? There's a bit of shading involved, involved right? This one, again, it's more like steampunk, I think. Line work in the beginning, and then he just colored it. So he does have a very standard kind of a um, process. Reminds me, the design of this guy reminds me of um, Darting the Franks. The uh, the adults, the quote-unquote adults, would have this sort of design, I think. It, they have like golden ornamentations and shit. It's kind of what I remember anyway. Uh, although a lot of them had like masks or something. Hard to recall, but this does remind me a bit of Darling in the Franks, right? Although in the gun, it starts to become too ornamented, right? So it's... yeah. I think it's just the head part that's kind of making me think of Darling in the Franks. Um, I love Zero 2, by the way. Um, so... I still can't get over the... Uh... <sighs> anyway, fuck. Ooh! Awesome! So I I'm guessing this guy... And this guy are in the same world just because of the the design motifs are kind of there, right? I can tell by the shoe design and by the the golden kind of color, right? Damn. Awesome. Again, the rendering style. It's rather flat. It's not too overboard. It's not a painting. It's a uh, more of a concept kind of thing, right? More sketches here. Now this one's actually painted, right? You can still see the... Uh, yeah, it's, it, there's, har there's hardly any line work for this one. Well, that's a big, like, tip there. Jesus Christ. Um. <laughs> Ooh, he does have, like, mechs, right? Oh, here, you can actually see him do a bit of that line work here. Um. Pretty cool concept. Very cool quick sketches here. I mean, you can tell... Or you can kind of see the design in this stage. Um, not everything has to be completed, right, or fully kind of refined for you to be able to understand. For you to be able to understand the concept, right? A lot of this is actually kind of graphical in nature, or it's like um, like you're showing a summary of what the concept is. So it, it is actually like a le legit sketch, because sometimes I. I, my, my mind kind of skews what a sketch is just because of what people post or say a sketch is whenever they post their artwork online. Sometimes their sketches look so kind of beyond or they look finished, right? And it's not really a sketch anymore, you know? These are sketches, right? These are sketches here. Now this one's a bit refined, right? The ones with line work, they're more... Because, you know, it's a bit refined, so it's not really a sketch sketch. This one could be like a sketch. I mean, you can see the roughness of it, right? Same thing for this guy, and same thing, especially for these ones, right? And this guy as well. Um, some colored stuff here. Um, again, look at how there's a lack of texture, right? A bit of rendering, but that's pretty much it. Ew. So he did start out with a rough kind of layout, just as like an impression of the, the whole figure, right? And then he did a line work thing, flat colors, and then some rendering, right? 
the flat colors are pretty much just there to uh, uh, to separate each kind of part and then you can just edit them later you know with some adjustment layers and then he'll from there I think he'll just uh, add a bit of shading to kind of help it make more sense in terms of 3d right now this one's just flat with a bit of dark shadows in it right Oh, nice. Same thing. These two kind of have the same kind of approach. Um, this one has more shading though, right? Ooh. So these are more mechs, I think, right? Yeah, these one are these these are more like thumbnails actually, just because, and it's mostly silhouettes as well. Like it's half sketch or half thumbnail sketch, and half silhouette, just because of the way that the legs were done. Even the design for this armor or for ship for this kind of hammer, I'm guessing, is just mostly a silhouette, right? Very comic-y, looks like um, like graphic novel-esque, you know? Lots of darks involved. Um, so he did start out with a line sketch for this one, fuck! And then he did some... Again, look at how there's a lack of texture, you know? But he does render the forms a bit here, right? While still leaving the line sketch intact, right? So most of his work is actually, I think, done here, where he has to think about things, right, and design it in this phase, and then everything else is more of just um, to make it presentable, I guess, right? Like the line work is what really carries the the majority of the piece, right? Because he could also paint this, um, or he could also paint over the line work eventually, but, you know, he doesn't really need to, I guess, just because I think he's trying to show off that he's more of a design kind of guy, right? Right? I like this. So anyway, that's it for Hugo Richard. I do recommend you check his YouTube channel out just because you can actually see his process. Um, I think for both, he has videos where he does use Procreate, I think, and then he does have um, a video where he kind of reviews a Huion, Huion canvas um, tablet, and he does a demo with that specific tablet. So. Yeah, I do like the line work of it or the, the approach where you have the line work and then a kind of basic, not basic, but a standard kind of coloring style. Very, very similar to Faraz um, Shanyar. Um, so that's it for Hugo Richard. Um, we thank you for watching. Keep drawing, keep painting, and stay free.